Good evening, good evening, good evening. Greetings, 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 and welcome, welcome, welcome to Queen Bee's half hour of jewelry shopping power. On this seventh day of March, I want to give a shout out to everyone who is having a birthday on today. Two people that came to mind in my friend's timeline today is Lynette Freeman and Michael Clements, high school classmates, Tuskegee Institute High School, Tuskegee Institute, Alabama. Just want to give you guys a shout out and say happy, happy birthday to everybody else who I may not know that's having a birthday today. Happy birthday to you. On this seventh day of March, in the year of our Lord and Savior, 2023, we commemorate National Cereal Day. So if you like your grits, your cream of wheat, your Cheerios, your honey nut uh, raisins, your honey nut Cheerios, your raisin bran, your cornflakes, it's National Cereal Day. Embrace it and enjoy. For this week, uh, the week of March 1st through the 7th, we observe and commemorate National Invest in Veterans Week. So a shout out to all of the veterans who keep us safe here and the ones that are in active duty. We appreciate you and we thank you for your service. For this month, we are going to commemorate Irish American Heritage Month along with National Craft Month and National Women's History Month, just to name a few. Each day we'll add more until we've covered them all. So this evening, come on, come on, come on in here. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me at this time on today. We have a, little, a lot of stuff going on today. We got a little bit of everything. Hey, Trina, thank you, thank you, thank you. I thought I would do something different tonight and put my shades on. Since I, you know, since I work from home and do everything from home and has limited ability to get out, but I put these on. Okay, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, thank you everybody for joining me. I appreciate it. Now we're going to go ahead on and get into the show. But let me tell you, I got some ones and dones. I got a little bit of everything. I got new releases in today. So we're going to go ahead on and get started with those. The first thing I have is this beautiful, beautiful pair of earrings that are called Cosmic Destination. This is a one and done. This is a beautiful black earring that is set in a triangular shape. And it is interfaced on top of a surface that is um, beautiful. Isn't that beautiful? And they are interfaced and connected to standard fish hook fittings. That hammered out surface is beautiful. And then around each one of the uh, triangular shaped uh, frames, we have a conglomerate of nail heads in silver, which gives it more attitude and makes it just say, I am beautiful. And you know it. This is called Cosmic Destination. This is a beautiful black earring. It's a one and done. Item number 169. 169. Very cute. Item number 170 this evening is another one and done. It too is a mesmerizing pair of earrings that are called Star Bazaar in gold. So we have the gold stars that are interfaced with two gold discs that connect to standard fish hook fittings for pierced ears that form this beautiful dangle. This is a one and done item number 170 and it's called Star Bazaar Gold Earrings. Aren't they beautiful? Thought you might like those. All right. Item number 171 is something for our guys in the Urban Collection. This too is a one and done. It is called Rookie Roulette. It's a beautiful silver chain link earring. I'm sorry, chain link bracelet that features an adjustable clasp closure. And let me push it through so you can see 
how much of an extender we have to work with here on this bracelet. This is just nice, guys. Isn't that beautiful? Look at those links. And some of them are doubled. And then they're connected with a single link, which gives it more definition. Very nice. This is item number 171. 171 from the Urban Collection. It's called Rookie Roulette. It's a one and done. Very nice. Item number 172 is a beautiful bracelet that is called Scope of Expertise. Scope of Expertise is item number 172. This is a rose gold ring over ring with a circumference of white rhinestones in the inset that makes it spectacular each one of these rings have that inset of rhinestones clustered in so it folds over and it opens up and goes over your wrist i'm just going to take off my cuff to show you this cuff isn't that beautiful it's called scope of expertise it's a beautiful rose gold bracelet and it's a cuff and it opens from the side, folds over the front. Item 172, Scope of Expertise. Now I have several of those. So I paired that up with this cute little Fiercely Fifth Avenue, Do We Love You Rose Gold Necklace. Look at this. Isn't that dainty and so indicative of the Fiercely Fifth Avenue collection. Look at that medallion. We have a white um, opal background in there that has a go uh, rose gold heart shape in the center. This is a one and done. It's drawn along a rose gold chain that has that much of an extender. So you have room to uh, leverage it for length. And it comes with a pair of chain link earrings in rose gold. This is item number 173. 173, and it's called Do We Love You Rose Gold Necklace. Isn't that beautiful? Absolutely fascinating. 173, Do We Love You Rose Gold Necklace. That is the one and done. Up next... I forgot to show you guys this. It came in one day last week, and I was, as I was cataloging things and getting ready for this show, I ran across it. This is called Bow and Arrow. Bow and Arrow is a beautiful brass bracelet that has a conglomerate shape of an arrow. Isn't that nice? And it's threaded along these antique brass chains that interface and connect to an adjustable clasp closure. It has quite a bit of an extender, and this is the front side of the bracelet. It's called Bow and Arrow in Brass, item number 171. Very cute, very different, and easy to work with. Now, I have to accessorize that bracelet, these beautiful Daisy Dilemma brass post earrings that are in the shape of a daisy and have like a floral button in the center. This is all brass. It is a post. This is item number 175. 175. This is called Daisy Dilemma brass post earring. Very nice. Very nice. And I have one more pair of brass earrings that I wanted to show you. And it will all come together like it should in just a moment. These are called Artisan Attitude. This is a brass two-inch hoop that is melded together and has an overlay of small rectangular pieces that meld it together and connect to form this very fashionable piece of art. 
These are post. It's called Artisan Attitude in Brass. Item number 176. 176. And so I thought since I'm showing brass earrings and bracelet, I got to show you at least one brass necklace. So this is where the lip sync links come in. This is a fashion fix necklace that I am presenting tonight by itself in brass. It features an adjustable clasp closure. It has a medallion of brass ringlets that are interfaced and connected to um, rectangular brass hoops that connect and interface to an oversized brass chain. It comes with a small pair of brass earrings that mimic the connectors in the chain. This is called item number 177, Lip Sync Links in Brass. Lip Sync Links in Brass. Isn't that nice? And if you wanted a more definitive pair of earrings, that was the purpose of me showing the Artisanal Attitude 176. And if that wasn't your flavor or cup of tea, then I would go back and take another look at the Daisy Dilemma, which is item number 175. They're all brass, beautiful. And brass is said to be good for you as you age in grace or age gracefully. It helps your joints. Okay, so up next we have a new release. And this is called a sheen slate in pink. Very, very vibrant spring colors. We have lavender pink. And we have that glassy white in there with a the little iridescence to pull this piece together. A lot of activity and color going on here, which is synonymous and significant of spring. This is called a sheen slate in pink. It is threaded along a silver chain. We have a conglomerate of shapes and beads and colors, which mimic spring. It comes with a beautiful pair of pink, um, rose-colored pink earring beads that are interfaced and connected to standard fishhook fittings for pierced ears. This is 178, 178, a sheen slate. Very nice, very cute. And speaking of new releases for our guys, we have from the Urban Collection, we have the Pendant Dreams Brass Necklace for our guys from the Urban Collection. Isn't that mesmerizing? When I saw this, I really didn't pay attention when I ordered it because I looked at it and all I saw was it around my neck. It is from the Urban Collection. It features an adjustable clasp closure that has that much of an extender. And look at that beautiful medallion. That brown cat's eye stone, it's screaming. How fine do you think I am? So I think this is a unisex necklace that can be worn by male or female. It did not come with earrings. So that usually doesn't when it's from the Urban Collection. However, we should be able to work something out if we need to, because we can always go with brass earrings, just plain brass. The Pendant Dreams uh, necklace is going to speak for itself. Isn't that beautiful? Item number 179, Pendant Dreams, and that is from the Urban Collection. Item number 180 this evening is a new release. And this is an Empower Me Pink necklace. It's called Crowning Collection. It's a multicolored gemstone necklace that is threaded along a silver chain. It interfaces and connects to an adjustable clasp closure 
falls and lays like that below your collar. All of the beautiful array of colors make it a worthwhile, good investment because it matches everything. If you need a little bling to bring out a teal blue, a green, a pink, a black, anything, this is your necklace. It's called Crowning Collection. It's item number 180. It features an adjustable clasp closure. It's quite a bit of an extender, so it can be leveraged for length. Comes with a beautiful pair of white rhinestone uh, that are set in silver-capped frames, interfaced and connected to standard fishhook fittings for pierced ears. This beautiful necklace is called Crowning Collections, and it's only $5.40. Item number 180, that is from the Empower Me Pink convention that was held here in Atlanta in February. Okay, up next, we have the brass bracelet for our guys that is called Cargo Couture. This came out a couple of days ago. It's a very good quality brass bracelet. It's links together. It features an adjustable clasp closure with that much of an extender. And that is the pattern around the circumference of the wrist. For our guys in the Urban Collection, this is item number 181. 181. Very nice. That was released a couple of days ago, like uh, last Friday. Okay? Up next, we have an Empower Me Pink release. This is a beautiful ring that is called Rippling Rarity. It is beautiful with white rhinestones. It is a bodacious ring. It can sit atop your finger like that. It features a stretchable band for a flexible fit. It is called Ripping Rarity, item number 182. This is from the Empower Me Pink Collection. 182, Ripping Rarity. Item number 183 is also a new release from the Empower Me Pink. It's called Light at the Opera White Post. Isn't that beautiful? It looks at the top like a post of butterflies with rhinestones. It looks like a butterfly shape with rhinestones and pearls, and it has that trickle-down effect, a lot of strength, character, definition, and a whole lot of flavor wrapped up in these beauties. This is called Light at the Opera. It's a beautiful white post, and it is an Empower Me Pink new release. Item number 183. 183. Item number 184 is also an Empower Me Pink new release. Give me just a second. Let me get my numbers. Let me get caught up with my numbers. And I will be right back with you. Okay, we're there. Item number 184. Four. Here's the Fifth Avenue collection. This is called Twinkle of an Eye. We have this beautiful conglomerate of rhinestones that mirror each side, mirrors the other, interface and connect to a silver chain. It has a silver frame that houses a rhinestone medallion and a white rhinestone that is set in a silver frame that interfaces and connects to form this beautiful palette. It is called Twinkle of an Eye White Necklace. It features an adjustable clasp closure with that much of an extender. So you have length to leverage for uh, length. And it comes with a beautiful pair of matching white rhinestone earrings that are interfaced and set in silver cap frames connected to standard fishhook fittings. This is from the Empower Me Pink Collection. It's called Twinkle of an Eye White Necklace, item number 184. 184. Okay. 
Item number 185 this evening is called Material Pearl. This is a beautiful silver hoop that has three quarters or a little bit over half of a circumference of rhinestones that rhinestones and pearls interface together. Isn't that beautiful? Hence the name, Material Pearl. Item number 185, very flashy, sassy, and classy. Material Pearl. This is a beautiful white silver hoop earring. Item number 185. 185. Item number 186 is a one and done. It's called Eco Equinox. It is a brown tiger's eye ring. Isn't that fabulous? I got to put this on. I fell in love with this. Why well, I only have one, I have no idea. But isn't that beautiful? And look at that artisanal design all the way around the circumference of that oversized tiger's eye. Isn't that beautiful? It's called Eco Equinox. It's a beautiful brown ring. Item number 186. 186. Now, I want to show you a beautiful yellow necklace that is called Stella Aris. Stella, Stella Aris. And it is so refreshing because it is a beautiful, beautiful spring on the horizon necklace. We have these yellow shapes framed in silver that are connected together and then interfaced and connected to a silver chain. It features an adjustable clasp closure. It has that much of an extender. It comes with a mesmerizing pair of earrings that are identical to the pieces that form the palette of the necklace, although they may be a little bit smaller. This is called Stella Aris in yellow. Stella Aris in yellow. Item number 187. 187. Isn't she sweet? Oh, I just love her. She's beautiful. Now, today I got in this mesmerizing yellow bracelet. It's called Tourist Trapezoid. It's yellow. It's a cuff. It opens like that. You slide your wrist in, and look at that. Looks like sunshine, doesn't it? Isn't that nice? This is called Tourist Trapezoid. It is a yellow bracelet, and it goes extremely well with the Stellar Aris. Let me just show you. We have the Stellar Aris right here, and that's for your earrings and your necklace. And then we have this beautiful Tourist Trapezoid yellow cuff bracelet to match it. Isn't that fabulous? 188 for the bracelet, which is a new release. And the necklace, 187, is called Stella Aris. Very nice, in yellow. Beautiful matching earrings. And then just in today, I have this fascinating tourist trapezoid over the wrist cuff bracelet that opens from the front. Item number 188. And those two work so well together. And let's see. Now, I have a fashion fix set here that I want to share with you. I have been trying to show it for a minute. And each time, it seems that something else comes up. So today, I would like to go ahead on and show you this vintage fashion fix set from the Sunset Sightings collection. I have one of these myself. This is absolutely beautiful. We start with this fascinating, lovely necklace that is called Buckle Down. Buckle Down features these delicately hammered out in antique shimmer, three studded silver plates, 
that gradually increase in size as they fall from the bottom of a lengthened silver chain. They are boarded in brass and these stacked pendants catch and reflect the light for a rustic finish. Now I have this drawn up. It is a long necklace. It comes with a small pair of earrings and I will release the necklace so that you can get an idea of how long it is. You can wear it long or you can double it up. But that is that beautiful necklace in its own right. Isn't that fabulous? Absolutely mesmerizing. This is set number 189. This is the beautiful necklace. It's called Buckle Down. And this is from the Sunset Sightings Collection. Now, it comes with an additional pair of matching earrings that are called Texture Takeover. Here we have a hoop within a hoop within a hoop. The first hoop is studded and hammered, and so these silver hoops alternate to create a rippling rustic hoop, and the earring attaches to a standard fishhook fitting for pierced ears. Let me give you an up close and personal view of the earrings for set number 189. Aren't they beautiful? Then we have this fascinating, fascinating, hold on to your buckle. This is bordered in brass. We have that hammered silver frame that attaches to a thick leather band for a rustic look. It features an adjustable snap closure, and that's that beautiful bracelet from this collection. Now, to culminate and complete this set, we have the Stack Stunner ring, which is dotted with a silver beaded center, and it's antique studded silver frames stacked into a rustic centerpiece that curves around the finger. It features a stretchable band, for a flexible fit. And that will complete my show for this evening. And I will give you a recap of this complete set. We have the necklace, which is called Buckle Down. This is all set number 189. Let me get it turned around. And on this easel right. Sometimes it's cooperative, sometimes it's not. Sometimes we just have to do the best we can with what we got, okay? See what I mean? Sometimes it's cooperative, sometimes it's not. Bear with me though, I wanna show you this complete set and that is going to culminate and do it for us for this Tuesday, it's beautiful. This has been a beautiful day here in Atlanta. And I pray that you had a beautiful day in your neck of the woods on this fabulous Tuesday. This is our first Tuesday in the month of March, right? Because I think the week came in on a Wednesday of last week. Yeah, because Friday was the fourth, right? So. This is the necklace for set 189. It's called Buckle Down. It comes with a small pair of earrings. It's a lengthy necklace. I have it pulled up for the affect. And then we have this additional pair of earrings that are called Texture Takeover. We have the beautiful Hold On To Your Buckle bracelet. And this is a um, adjustable snap closure bracelet. And then we complete this set with this beautiful ring that's called Stack Stunner. All five pieces, 2160. This is called Sunset Sightings. And that's gonna complete my show for this evening. It is now eight o'clock and I wanna say thank you all so much for joining me. Your presence is tremendously appreciated. 
And um, I'll be back out here on Thursday. Okay, Trina, you want 172? Yes. Isn't that nice? That rose gold bracelet. That baby is fire. I got you down, Miss Trina. Thank you so much. Let me put that over here. I want to put back on a storyboard. So thank you so much for your selection and thank you for your presence. I appreciate you. Please feel free to share the business cards and the website with your family and friends. I appreciate your presence. I'll be back on Thursday. Until then, have a good night. Be blessed. Thank you all so much. And I'll see you next time. Good night.